Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Melania Trump takes a stage at a Trump rally and does something that no one was expecting. Thank you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed by thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Good afternoon. It is my honor and great pleasure to stand here before you as the First Lady of the United States. Well, that was a breath of fresh air. Now, I'm not saying that we need to shout things from the rooftops when it comes from a religious perspective, but something as simple as the Lord's Prayer, that's a worthwhile campaign event because there's nothing wrong with any of those words. The America we envision is one that works for all Americans and where all Americans can work and succeed. A nation committed to a greater civility and unity between people from all sides of the political divide. I will always stay true to myself and be truthful to you, no matter what the opposition is saying about me. I will act in the best interest of all of you. I'm committed to creating and supporting initiatives dear to my heart, which will have impact on women and children all around the world. My husband is creating a country of great safety and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to introduce the President of the United States, Donald Trump. Now that's something different, y'all. That's. That's something different because, first off, it's obvious, uh, Melania does not speak English as her native tongue, and you can hear that. That's fine. We're Americans. We're a great big melting pot. We can afford that, and we're cool with that. As a matter of fact, even the people that are seen as those evil, mean racists are out there cheering her on for two solid minutes. It's, it's rare that you see the First Lady come out and get this much support. And I find that very unusual in political history. Granted, people are usually nicer to the first ladies than they are to their husbands. And uh, I mean, that started to change when Hillary Clinton started getting everyone's business back in the 90s. But you have this unusual night and day difference between, let's say, Melania and, uh, oh, Michelle's too easy. How about Jill? Let, let's talk about Jill Biden for a brief moment. Jill Biden, in my opinion, is the one controlling Joe because she's the only one that knows how to properly handle him because he behind the scenes is apparently going crazy. He has no idea why Americans hate his guts. He has no idea why he isn't more popular in the polls. He is basically incredibly angry, at least when he's not eating ice cream or taking a nap or stumbling off the steps of Air Force One. Now, this might trigger some people to know, but you know what? Good. They should be triggered. And the best way to trigger your liberal friends is to go to our friends over at basedby.shop, link in the description below, show off to everyone how good you're looking and how conservative you really are. And so Joe Biden's out there just rambling uh, about things that he no longer has any memory of because his memory's gone. And Jill's out there doing her best to keep Joe in line from complete implosion. And ultimately, uh, she's done a fantastic job at that. But it means that I have no clue what uh, she's trying to do as a first lady. I think th there's, there's been a couple of times in history where this has happened. 
but you think that at least Melania has a lucid husband. <laughs> I think that's ultimately the choice that we have in 2024, but you have ultimately a first lady who is full of dignity, full of grace, and full of humility. And then you have others that are trying to do too much with too little. And I think the choice is going to be very, very clear coming soon. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Until then, y'all have a good one.